Hello, welcome to Celebrity Chatter and Things That Matter with Elijah. I'm interviewing Paris. Hi. Hi. My first question is, uh, what's your favorite candy? My favorite candy. Now, first of all, I feel like I should explain. My full name is Paris Themen. Oh, and my the bad. reason that anybody <laughs> care to hear about me is because a long time ago I was in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and I played the uh, bratty little uh, cowboy kid named Mike TV. Yep. Now, what's my favorite candy? Um, I like Toblerone. Uh, I don't know if you know this one. It's a Swiss chocolate. It comes in like a triangular box. And uh, actually, I started liking that when I went to Munich, Germany in 1970 and made Willy Wonka on the Chocolate Factory. So um, it's kind of cool. It leaves you with like a little nougat at the end that sort of melts in your mouth after the chocolate's gone. Okay. I was thinking about uh, the Willy Wonka movie. Yeah. I was wondering that part where you're trying to get the candy out of the tree like yeah. what was that stuff well that was bubble gum oh, just okay. like you might have thought but you know the thing is they had me jumping up as if i was trying to get it yeah and it was too low on the tree so honestly i could have jumped up and just gotten it so i had to do a little acting where i was yeah. sort of pretending to jump but honestly i wasn't as jumping as high as i could jump but uh yeah and then it went all over the the ground and i just picked it up and ate it but it was real bubble gum did yeah. it taste good? It was fine. Yeah. It was okay, it tastes like gum. Yeah. Yep. My next question is, would you rather be able to speak to animals or speak any language? You mean like speak all the languages? Yeah. Ooh, tough one. That's kind of like a question of like asking me if I like people better or animals better. And it really that's tough. Because animals are pretty great. Yeah. I, I mean, ooh, boy. That's a very difficult question. I, I what, can I do both. I definitely would definitely like to be able to speak with animals, but how cool would it be able to, to be able to speak to everybody on Earth? I mean, I can. I want both. I want both. I would say because I I don't travel that much. Yeah. So, so you go I would, for the I would animals. talk to the animals. Exactly. And plus, I already know kind of three languages. I know oh. English, sign language, and un poquito. Uh, oh, poquito uh, es, espanol. <laughs> espanol, yeah. Si, senor. <laughs> I have traveled a lot. I've been to 70 countries, 71 countries, uh, as of uh, two days ago, actually. Uh, so, yeah, I've traveled a lot. Yeah. So I would be able to use that thing with the yeah. languages, but I, I, I'm all about the animals these days, so I'm really, I just do not know how to answer that question. <laughs> all right. And my last question is, what's your go-to dance move? My go-to dance move? <laughs> Boy, wow, you made me snort. Um, let me see. My go-to dance move. Uh, actually, so I studied dance when I was in college. Oh, okay. I was an actor from a kid through NYU at college, and uh, I took a lot of dance classes. I did jazz, ballet, modern, but uh, if I'm at a party, let's say, or if I'm at a club or something like that, my ballet is not really going to serve me, yeah. right? So I usually go all the way back to the hustle which you probably don't know what that is, but maybe somebody that's listening will know. It's a partner dance situation, and uh, it's really fun. You twirl the girl around, and you do moves, and you, give, you dip them at the end, and you know, so uh, it's nice, because it's very social between the two of you, and it's a fun dance. So I'm gonna go with The Hustle from the 1970s. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much cool. for this interview. That was All right. great. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thanks for asking.